Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some uh, turnout decoders that I uh, had ordered some PCBs. So here's a pack of 10. Uh, this is based on a project by Curious Timo. You can find him on, uh, I'll put a link in the notes below. He's a YouTuber who developed this uh, decoder. And uh, he's got a, diff a couple of different sketches because the decoder can do a lot of different things. So uh, I'll show you, what, see what this is one of the boards. What it looks like out of the package. And here's one there where I'm starting to put the, all the parts in it. Oops. And then here, anyway, here's a working one. So uh, what's neat is it's also a local net, uh, has local net capabilities. So uh, as you can see here, the, the two local net connections. Um, and then there's also this chip is I think a 6N137 for a DCC so it will also decode the DCC signal that comes in on, on uh, this pin so not only will it you know output the uh, local net you also got some DCC stuff that's going on it uses uh, a nano we know nano and I've made the uh, pins available here we'll see how that all works and then here's your jumpers up front and then power and if there's a signal for instance I'll, I'll activate something and you see the little red guy going red LED so uh, these jumpers they were a little confusing to me at first anyway it ends up uh, I think the first jumper it's uh, when you, you put the jumper you know up up facing up and down whereas on the second set you put them left to right so the first one was for um, uh, 5 volts I get the power yeah this guy gets the power from the 78 of the 5 volt regulator which is over here uh, and then I think to get the power from there you have to actually bring the because this is a power connector so I think you bring the power supply into here then when you put the jumper on the first set of pins uh, this thing is powered from that chip when you put the jumper into the second position it's powered through the the low connect cable so you know it's it's taxing your system so you can decide you put a separate power supply here use that guy and go through here or you can use the, the through a local net which is now less wires but like I said more taxing on your system um, then the third one I forget what that third one was I think that's for the yeah IC2 um, yeah it's an IC2 jumper because you can connect a uh, I squared C LCD like this little one here or or that one that's there see this if, if I flip it over see it's got that adapter there for that type of bus so uh, yeah you need that or else uh, the output won't work properly on the LCD and then on the side here what's neat is here there's uh, this connector uh, which is uh, I think they called it a PCA 9685 I think it's a, a expander board which is this little guy you can buy them uh, they're pretty cheap I think they're like two dollars each I ended up buying five of them so what's neat is uh, I have this LCD screen this is a 4x20 based on that IC2 I squared C uh, bus so it's like allows you to daisy chain uh, you know these you can you know just keep adding more and more uh, screens or whatever IC2 I squared C uh, devices uh, so this expander, what it does is, see, th th those cables come into this board, and then it, it basically comes out this board, and then it, it goes into there. So that LCD could actually be plugged, you know, directly into here. But by adding this board in between, uh, then the thing is I can also power it here with 5 volts. So again, not taxing the system, whereas now that LCD is being supplied, you know, powered by the um, local net um, connection then the other option is down here uh, you can connect all your servos so if you wanted to use also use this decoder to control servos you know you can control 16 servos yeah four four by four 16 servos and then I think he also has a sketch where you can also use these uh, uh, outputs for let's say lights you know put them on a uh, on a panel so you can have an individual lights 16 lights but then uh, he also has another sketch in there that I think they, he uses the WS2811 uh, chips and he somehow connects it up here. That's a, you know, in the future I'll, I'll make a video of that one. He connects it to this bus up here. Uh, 
any because he's using the I squared C bus here he, with the jumpers you can switch it and end up using I think D5, D6 I'm not sure I'll have to check and uh, basically he connected it to uh, check his site for the video and you'll see uh, the RGB he's using two RGB lights uh, that he's changing red yellow green but um, I don't think it's uh, you know the RGB lights like you can have you know 50 100 of them and you know they're all in the seri series and so then you can talk to one at a time but in his demonstration he only shows uh, a couple of LEDs so I'm not sure how that uh, that's all working anyway that'll be for a future video but uh, my point here is just to show that I made this um, decoder uh, his decoder I assembled it I ordered those those boards from JLC PCB and uh, here I modified a sketch so it's a bit messy it's not uh, like what they call uh, justified you know the text is not coming out all nice and proper I'll have to put in the right commas or semicolons in the sketch but just to give you an idea you see uh, this is it's a I'll unplug the power plug it back in that'll reset see it's written DCC local net monitor so uh, what's neat is somewhere on the layout I'm going to install that uh, screen and then as I uh, you know have some traffic I'll put a, a wet finger on one of the tracks and then you'll see oh you see there you go it gave, gave all kind of text of you know code for what's happening anyway once I get it justified properly it'll look a little bit interesting but uh, you know this basically is telling you the, the turn uh, the block is occupied the sensors are being uh, not the sensors but the um, light poles like I have the little uh, poles here right let's see if that'll come in clear see if I put a wet finger there some of the lights will uh, well let's see I'll work on this one yeah see the light turns red there it is I have to put the finger on the right track Or if I flip the turn out, let me see. That's that block. See, so that, that flips accordingly. Might be a little bit out of focus, these lights. Sorry about that. But then as you give that information, you see this sensor data here. It will change. I'll flip a couple of turnouts. So once that, like I said, gets organized uh, properly, that that'll that'll make sense what's coming out there. So at least it gets to show you, you know, you get to see that uh, you know traffic, you know, something's happening. Obviously, you hear the the turnouts flipping and stuff, but you could tell all the multiple uh, stuff that's going on without having to refer to, uh, you know, you're going on your PC, connecting the USB and all this connection. So you have a display here. Um, so that's uh, what I wanted to show for now. Like I said, then my next project will be to connect the RGB lights over here to see how they work as, <coughs> excuse me, as uh, as lights like this. And um, the other thing would be a, a DCC um, signal input and then decode that on the, on the screen. So uh, we'll even see if we can somehow you know add two. Yeah, because here's one screen, a small little one. So we can have one panel that will decode, uh, that'll show the, the DCC uh, signals, and then the other one will, in this case, this one will show the uh, uh, local net signals. All right, hopefully that made all made sense for you. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.